What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, okay, so this is me. This is the guy that was trying to keep his uh, his uh, identity private. Anyway, you go back and listen to any of these songs. I don't know if you can hear them right now, but uh, let's see if you can hear it. Yeah, that's the music. Anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. All right, that happened last time. Uh, I have audio problems with this phone, so if I start an app up, sometimes it just like, keeps going. I can't let, I can't stop it. So you notice a lot of my videos are cut short at the end. First of all, I want to say a quick greeting to everyone. Uh, and in Canada, it's actually rude to say a greeting with sunglasses on. So, hola, hi, welcome to my channel. Now, I, uh, I'm i done trying to promote other channels. I've reached out to so many people with this info and uh, they either don't want a piece of me because eh, it's just too controversial for them or they want the uh, credit for this information when I actually just found all this info myself. So yeah, kudos if you inspired me, but I'm not going to support any other channel going forward. I might just take all my subscriptions down because, you know, if you're going to use my info, at least give me credit and don't worry, I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying either have me on your show and we'll discuss all this mud flood evidence or leave me alone, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to like jump on board with my info and at least like open your mind up to it, don't worry about it. I don't need your support. I really, I'm a big boy now, okay? Now, going forward, here's how I'm going to do it. 54 images for the uh, video dated. Uh, that's the video I was going to do. Or I did, and then the, the audio didn't record. So you, you know how it goes. 54 images, here they are guys, not bar images. Stay tuned, check it out to the end and you'll find out what it's all about. All right, so moving backwards as usual, I, I'll uh, just enlarge my little face a little bit so I can move it around. So, okay, there's a bell on the top of every single uh, free energy, DC energy building that absorbs the static electricity out of the air. Falcon bicycles, kind of what we're talking about, going back to the old age. Just thought it was a really nice poster. Cool logo. So I just want to make sure that music wasn't still going. All right, uh, you know, we've kind of all been misled uh, that Canada was like one highway going east and west. Here it is in 1954. Like, okay, maybe not 1954, but sometime in the 50s, I believe, late 40s. Look at Canada and all the roads up there. And the U.S. looks, maybe this is like, mm, not correct. Because I always thought it was the other way around. There was roads every 12 miles in the U.S. and their fence and all that stuff. But the U.S. looks clean and clear, open. Canada is the one with all the freaking roads. Because we need them. And going in every freaking direction. All right. To the king. Some of these little, um, perhaps not the book that I'm looking into, Travels in Egypt, Nubia. Norden Frederick. It's perhaps the little drawings that they encapsulate with their with their books. So this was like commissioned. So here's Egypt with a whack job face and some sort of uh, robot 
kind of coming out the, the jaw, I think. But here we have two little cherubs. Let's get the brightness up all the way. Busted, busted, busted. One, two, three, four stones on its side with the, it uh, looks to be a stone obelisk, perhaps on its angle. Broken, broken, broken. Here's the new king with the fascia and the uh, bucket full of, uh, not flowers. We determined those were just like bugs, larva. That's what he's holding in his left hand. That's what I'm saying. Um, Cause you see huge bugs coming out of that. And then there's sometimes the tail is a bug or that's the tail and the bug, you know, Anyway, more reset, you know, they're implanting this in your head always. When you see a rope going around the edge, that means it's royalty inside. And if there's a rope associated with this and it goes all the way around like that, even if it doesn't touch, you're looking at the, uh, the A, but also the, the, pharaoh, the pharaoh symbol. That's what that is, the pharaoh symbol. The... Okay. That means pharaoh. Look at every single tank, every single thing that goes into a war. Pharaoh. And they call it the chevron. All right, that's not part of the army thing. That's, this is the marking of the pharaoh. Okay, so anyway. The king, the pharaoh, the leader, here he is again, propping up something, setting it on fire. With the little snake coming to get him at the bottom. Oh, and the snake head, of course, with the pharaoh penis, penis phallic symbol on the forehead, as usual. Uh, all right. Whack job, corner, corner people. Little goblin tops. They're like, help me, I can fly, but I'm drowning. <laughs> What's with the cherub drowning in the water? Um, and then the horse, of course, has webbed, webbed feet or some kind of whack job horse. It could be, uh, it's a seahorse. Egyptian seahorse. Now, here's an image. I go through the images. I try and clean them up for you. That's what I'm doing. I was in photo and video. Here's the best I could do with this. But at least in this, you kind of see this woman in the foreground come out. And you see in the background here, there's like a... There's a it's, it's, it's actually a courtyard with a... Um, well, you can see. Right? And you can make out a few of the words up top here. And what I'll do, hopefully, in the future is just download all my photos to one site, too. I'm not looking for other people to add and add some, like, you know. It'll be all my photos, because I worked on this. It's my, my research. And you're free to do your own. So, you know, the more the merrier, actually. And not to be a pain, but hurry up and get on it, because we need help. All right, uh, another tower halfway up. Stopped, new bricks, brown ones, two types. I think that's just built into the design. Part of the bottom has lime, and then the rest of the bricks have cinnabar, or made of cinnabar, and more higher mercury content back in the day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, most of all of Australia was like mining cinnabar. They built aqueducts in order to mine cinnabar. Go back and watch my videos. And that's what the aqueducts were about. It wasn't like transporting trickling water over five, you know, five miles. They were rolling water over the, the dirt and processing the mercury right out of it with the cinnabar. Because mercury used to, you know, it was mercury vapor lamps in the streets and mercury played a larger role. And it wasn't considered uh, so dangerous because in its pure form, it's not dangerous at all. In its purest form, you can eat it. 
Go back and watch my video if you want, a quick silver video. So yeah, I'm not gonna promote any more anyone else's videos on here. So I'm done. You don't wanna talk about my, my research? Well then talk amongst yourselves, you know? I'm not trying to be rude to the rest of you, but you know, um, I keep trying to lead them to the water and show them what I have. Uh, you know, regarding the, the electric fascia and the Vajra that I found, that's my research, man. And so you don't want to talk about the Vajra? Well, you better give me kudos and props for finding it in the first place. Because, you, you, you know, like all these channels purport to be like uh, conspiracy theory type channels. But when you contact them, they want nothing to do with you. There's only about five or six people that I contact and maintain a relationship with. And I can tell you straight up who they are. And they're going to, even if they don't, uh, you know, admit it or whatever. Jaron was one of the first ones to say, hey, welcome to the channel. I'm going to subscribe and I like all your videos. Thank you. And Jason from Secrets of Saturn has been there. I've been emailing him the whole time. He's got a movie out. Coming out in New York City, man. Shoot the moon, right? Anyway, there's only a few of them. Uh, Flat Earth British got back to me a couple of times. Thanks for the images. I was trying to give them the heads up. Like, here, this is what I'm covering tomorrow. Here's my video. In case any of this lines up with yours. Since a lot of my info seems to line up with John Levy, I watch a lot of his, his stuff. And he tips me off and I go research it for myself. That's what you should do too. Or maybe you are, hopefully. Right? I hate to be such an ass about it. but So, uh, pyramid on top of a pagoda with a wooden box inside from what I understand. Maybe it's, maybe it's the bell and they're un going to unpack it and set it up. I don't know how else, how else would you get a bell inside such a tower, right? So that is the question. Where, where would you think this is? I touched the photo up and actually, a lot of these photos are color or done on color paper, maybe cross processed with color chemicals at one point or just old school, uh, you know, old school processing. Quite stylish little shot from Venice. Venice, these little, uh, this little tower should have been the giveaway, I guess. That's what, you know, whatever. The Italians, they do it right. Bologna, I believe. This says San Grimigano or something. But I'll show you the Bologna. Bologna Towers. The Leaning Towers of Bologna, as covered by John Levy a couple months ago. Here's just a few more for you. So in making uh, the uh, free energy, that's what you need. Let me see this again. This is, uh, nope, no date on that. But I believe it was, uh, oh, I touched it up, that's why. Italy of the North, Ostrich, France. More and more, I wish I spoke or I could read Latin. It seems to be more and more important to read, be able to read Latin. Uh, Venice, looking at the rooftops up here, super clean up there, man. It's almost as if like they had a hundred years to just clean the roofs. You know what I mean? It must've been like nobody around for 50 years or a hundred years. All right, Venice, look, check it out. Bell, again with two little ding, ding, ding things on the outside, right? Like two little guys going, ding, ding, ding. I think attached to something or other, definitely attached to the bottom with the thing coming down outside. It's, it's part of the free energy device, okay? You need like a tower, uh, you need something to attract the energy and then you send it out to the next one which stores it and then the bell comes into place somewhere. I don't. I don't fully know, but the bell comes into it for sure. And to ignore such a thing, you always see the clock and the bell, right? Down here, you see the clock.
Okay. Yeah, part of my frustration is just like sending out this information. I know you guys watch my videos. That's fine. Uh, but, you know, like just to ignore it. It's because, you know, you want credit full, you know, like hard stamp it. I've been like trying to get on other people's shows for months and years, okay? I was the one that contacted Jason from Secrets of Saturn. And he's like, well, do a few more videos. We'll see, you know, so I haven't contacted him since. But Jason's not the problem, like, to, you know, call, using my information. I'm calling them out, saying you're forgetting about the Tartarian, the BS story that is called history. You can't just reference that. Like, you know, I'll talk about uh, the American Civil War and, and uh, you know, just stuff that is total BS. So you can't count that as evidence or even bring it up in conversation. So anyway, these people that just can't wrap their brains around it, like, you know, I even lost my job too. I was the guy that was like working in construction, trying to tell this other guy that whole story about the Civil War's bull. And he was like, well, Lincoln didn't have very many generals that were willing to help him very much. And there is, he was stuck between this. And I'm like, that's a whole cover story. Forget it. Like it's not. And these people now that are 60 years old, don't want to hear that. Those are deeply entrenched in their sinning ways, <laughs> sinful ways. So I believe this is the uh, little top view, this little, um, right here, this little plaque above the door. I covered it or I'm about to cover it. Anyway, little guard post, another guard post, huge lines. You got your trident man back there. This dude's wearing a cowboy hat. <clears throat> Just kidding. You know, people don't appreciate my sense of humor, man. <clears throat> Let me tell you, it takes a very serious person to be funny. Okay, so you find yourself laughing on this channel? Good. But, you know, you gotta understand, that's like a mourning process. You're mourning the loss of your entitlement. This is what you're entitled to, and they just knocked everything down. Okay? Look at this, Vienna. La Poite Principale de la Cathédrale. This is quite amazing. With the birds at the bottom, whatever those things are. Weird. Okay, so we're coming to the crunch. There is uh, some bomb, bombshell info in here. It's coming up. Here's the Turin. Who needs Rome when you have Turin? <laughs> Look at this. I'd rather go there. But there are a couple of buildings there that they have going on with this. And little, this little falls. This reminds me of Arm Prior. Some towers up there and definitely one up there, six-sided. And there it is again, a little ball in the air, a little transport machine. I don't know. So three windows with a fountain and two spires at the front. And is this what I think it is? Turin? Yeah, this is all Turin. I mean, this could be Chicago now that we know, right, about Chicago. It's crazy. All right, so here I am touching up more photos. Just trying to get like you know some cleaner photos for you. It's part of my, um, you know, I studied in Japan. I'm, I'm kind of a responsible person. That's why I need to uh, help humanity out because it's just incumbent on me to uh, try and help out. Try and keep leave the place cleaner than I found it. So here's just me like touching up photos. Here I'm trying everything. Uh, let's try and make it like a little cleaner, more visible, bring out the backdrop, background. Okay. So I actually do actually a lot of advanced work for these videos. And I don't mind, I, I enjoy like touching up photos. I mean, just trying to clean them up. All right, so 
here's a few that I cleaned up just You know, you start to see underneath the pillars, it's actually a fascia with a coil around the front and around the top. I think I believe like, you know, like a lot of these pillars, these were all built differently and like for different reasons. Here it's attached in the middle so it doesn't fall away from the wall, I guess, yeah. But then that was like, Covered a little, the covering starting to come off at the top. Smashed up, right? And then we have some uh, Latin at the top. Okay, so here's the bombshell info. Just came across this and I'm gonna show it to you right now. Now, I came across this info right here. If you don't speak French, it says, throw bombs electromagnetic, lance les bombes. Here's the translation. Lance, which is throw, lance, electromagnetic bombs with electric auto loader equipped with viewfinder against the Zeppelins offered by inventor Felix Balde to the National Defense France. Submitted 1915. That's what it says. Now here it is. He's got the bomb, the button. Chargé. Chargeur. Oh, sorry, that means like the pusher, right? Like that's the button. That's how you charge. Avec le chargeur. Okay. So, en bas, Below says this model, uh, Nusum, it was uh, in April 15 with Mr. Bouton Ron and Maritime. Okay, so he's in charge of the uh, Genie Maritime, the boss of the section technical in the service of Central Aeronautic Maritime, official delegate for Mr. the, the Mr. Minister of the Marine. So this is for real. It's like electromagnetic bomb that can take out a Zeppelin. And that's pretty probably how Zeppelins just cease to be of any relevance. Here he is with his invention. So this dude reminds me of the, uh, with the magnets around his head there, reminds me of, of myself with these magnets that I work with. And so here it is. This is just something I've been working on like, and I mean, like, there's a lot of tricks you can do with these magnets and stuff. Uh, see if I can put the phone down for a second. So, here. Okay, so, this is uh, just, like, magnets I've been sourcing. Um, and you can see for yourself, they move, like, when you... So it's kind of just a it's, a, it's it's a cool trick you do with someone. Uh, you go here, hold on to this and squeeze it, hold it in your hand. And then you take the rest of the magnets and you go like this and whoops, uh, pick it up. Anyway, the thing moves around in your, in your hand and it feels like a little bug. You can see underneath I'm going. So I source each one I have to I have to source each magnet and they're tiny, right? You can see, but you know, once you get like whole string of these, my daughter lost half of these. I had a whole bracelet full of what you see. Also, I had permanent pain in my thumb. Okay, I made a thumb ring and then I attached a crystal to it 
all right? And I was like working it, if you can see how you kind of spring it apart like this. That's my exercise that I was doing, like to bring my thumb back to life. Bring it all up, you know, like, there's gotta be some little spring. It's mostly the spring action I enjoy, but also the magnetic part, you know, it's, it's a powerful thing, what can I say? And when you give this to someone and you can see with the crystal, like where, what they need it for, they'll go, whoa, and put it right to their forehead. And like, hmm, wow. And then someone else will like hold it like right here. There's just something to it, that's all. And you know, I only take so much into it. Like I can only, here's another one I did right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So what it is is a uh, Lemurian crystal and it's like crucified against this uh, steel piece that I, you know, recycled, I found. Then I attached my own copper found, well, I, I sourced this copper chain, which I then made it a uh, coupling for with this copper, with this silver chain here. So that's kind of my signature move there. This is half copper and half silver with the copper and the Mirian brown crystal. It's just a, it's kind of more of a fashion thing, but anyway, got to pay the bills somehow man so um the crystals i found actually help they've been helping me and when you attach them to the magnet just the immediate um it just amplifies the process that's what i'm saying so anyway that's what i'm working on okay so now you can see where how and why i was led to this and i'll show you the picture that led me to this Okay, here are the projectiles. Nasty little things. Let's just flip these over on their side so you can see. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. Here we go. So, you can see like, uh, if you can fill them with charges, there's a spring. These are all, these would all be included in his pattern right? like, that they tried to keep quiet, right? couple inches long. Okay, here's another example I found on the internet just to make it abundantly clear what we're talking about. As the point hits, squeezes together, it gets pushed in, but also squeezes together the top either this way or outward, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, so that would push the pin in even further with these little side couplings here like push it further in which would activate this and would uh, explode when this thing touched I suppose like boom boom right so that's what it is and it's like the initial the the original bunker buster okay tiny here's another one of his patents with a special button and three little lights coming out of it. His system in the defense of France, okay. Using the telegraphy optique pal signal with a combination of fire electric, electric fire, valve, a rouge et bleu, an eclipse how the manipulation of and use of telegraphic optic for signature signal signal signals convenus convenus conven convenus anyway they they have the info they have the uh we have the technology to build the man better than it was before. Better, stronger, faster. 
He's got the magnets around his head, I'm sure. Some such thing, man. Okay. You don't look that nuts. You know, as they say, uh, genius motherfuckers look crazy to stupid motherfuckers. You know? <laughs> That's how I feel. I mean, this guy's obviously brilliant. But, hmm, perhaps working for the wrong side. Huh? Who knows? We all work for the Swiss, anyway. Here's St. Paul's before. Here it is now. Before. Big ball. Two balls on the outside. Chain running down both sides. No. They took it down. Yeah. The Antiquitech, man. So how did I come across all this? All right, well, it's from Chicago World's Fair, remember? With the guy with his arms up and the huge, inspiring, white architecture, unsurpassed anywhere, and they tore it down. They even had their own... They had their own... Uh, Eiffel Tower. Views of Chicago photographs in Albert type. Okay, that's the name of the thing. We all know we referenced the photos like uh, before, and this doesn't do it justice at all. But even the uh, entrance in the Union Stockyard was more interesting than what the Colombians put up, 1930. Check it out. This is the best they could do. They tore down paradise, the most beautiful architecture in the world that I've ever seen. Thanks to John Levy, who was bringing me to the, you know, take, bringing that to my attention. Here's the Zeppelin that I started to research. Look at this turd. It's a void right in the middle, and it's like fucking evil. <laughs> it just oozes evil. Look at this turd. What is that, an altar, a sacrificial altar? We covered the Saul's clock. So now we know how stupid and fucking ignorant and ugly the real rulers are in this place. They took over. And that's why. Usually it's the fucking assholes that win. And uh, you know what? No more. Because you never met a bigger fucking asshole than this one right here. Oh yeah. Right here. So you, if you're going to fucking try it on me, man, lay it on me. But you better knock me out, man. Because I'm going to come after you like a rag dog. Alright, guys. Not trying to scare you, man. Just hoping you've made it through at the end. That's the video. And, uh... Like I say, do your own research. We're all the prophet. Everyone has to prophesize the future. Show them the way, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.